everybody, this is Kim with Kim's Gems. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I did a video the other day on the chameleon um, powders, um, pigments, and I had several people ask me if you could use it on regular nail polish. Excuse me. Well, I'm going to, we're going to see if it does. I used just regular wet and wild black nail polish that was what I used and I painted all the nails so now we're gonna try rubbing the pigments chameleon pigments on these nails and see if they work and so and if they do I've got my fast drying such Veach says Veach um, clear polish it's it dries pretty fast so we're going to try this and see if it works and then we're going to paint over them to see what they look like and I do have these ordered so if anyone is interested just um, email me and I will be happy to get you some of them but I do have them ordered so because I have a couple people that is interested <sighs> sorry if you can hear my dogs I'm not sure this is working but I figured either success or fail we would give it a try um, the worst that could happen is it don't work and it works really well over a gel polish <laughs> so let's this is what it looks like after I've done it and this one is the this is the green gray and it's green gray and purple so, we'll see what it looks like when we clear coat it. Sorry if you heard my dogs. They're being a little disruly today. They bark at everything, I swear. Sometimes this stuff dries really fast. It leaves marks in the, the polish. Oops. Close enough. Okay, this is what it looks like. And it looks kind of dark. Not really what it looks like on um, gel polish. So we'll let that dry and we'll check out the next one. We'll see if we can get it to work. I'm not. Okay. I'd say it's going to work, but it's not going to be to the true color of what you can get off of a gel polish. So I'm assuming they're going to be excuse me, a little darker than what you would get off gel polish. But see, this right here is the one I have on my nails now. So when we top coat it, we'll see what it looks like. But that is not the true color to that one. Um, this one right here. That's not the true color on a gel polish. It's a different color. I can't say it's not a true color, but that is not the same color as what you get out of a gel polish. Okay, see, um, 
it's a little darker it's not I mean this is the same one so this is the um, blue purple and red and you see it has some of the same color but it is different than what you would get on gel polish this was done on gel polish this is on regular nail polish so I mean you'll get a color out of it but it, you're not getting the true shifting color the chameleon color off of it see how that shifts and it looks purple and blue and that is not the see it's not shifting like it should so yeah um we'll go ahead and do the last ones um just because we kind of already know what we're going to get out of them but one of them may trick us so we'll go ahead and see what we can get but um, as it's looking you get a color but you're not getting the true chameleon color um, out of this with regular polish and it looks like you can wipe it off let's try Hold on, let me let me do this real quick. We'll try this. We'll paint one of these nails and right before it's completely dry, we'll rub some of it on there. painting ain't real great but oh well okay you just see me paint this okay we're gonna wait till right before it's almost dry and we'll try it if it makes to see if it makes a difference um, if we do it right before it dries and if we don't let it dry all the way but while we're waiting on that we'll go ahead and be working on these And I'm just rubbing it on. And I see the color that it's. Let's put some sedge of each on it. And this one is supposed to be. Um. Hold on just a second and I'll look and see what color it's supposed to be. Or colors. All these are the three stage. It means they should put off like three colors, I'm thinking. Um, what I have on, I can only, it's supposed to have red in it, but I can only see red when I'm like in the sunlight. So this one is supposed to be green, blue, and purple, and you are getting the green, the shifty color off of this one. What the difference is between those and this one, I don't know, but you can see you are getting the shifty color. You can see that it looks purple and green. But it still is kind of dark, so... If you're doing it on regular nail polish, expect to have um, darkness to it. It is a little darker in color. Um, so, and this one looks like it's going to do pretty good. You can definitely see the change in this one. And this one is the green, gold, and purple. <sighs> My bottle is almost empty. 
gonna have to get me another one. And you see the green, and maybe a little bit of the gold, but it looks dark. I'm not real sure why they're turning out darker, but. Okay, this is still tacky, but almost dry. So we're going to go ahead and try. Let's try, let's do the same one I have on my fingers. And see if it turns out better. Now this is right before the polish dries all the way. It's still kind of a sticky residue fill before it gets all the way dry just remember see the edge I just pulled the edge up just remember that some parts may not be as dry but try to make sure they're as dry as possible before you attempt it but it looks like it got much better coverage if you do it right before it dries completely And I'm just painting it with the clear to bring out the the color shifts. Um, my painting is not perfect, I know, but these are not. And you have more of the color shift, and it's still not quite as bright as what's on my nails. And it was done on a black gel too. Um, but yeah, that is the difference between, um, let's show you the, let me show you the difference. I think these two are the same. Yep. Yeah. This is the difference between this one. We put it on right before because you can see where I took some of it off right before it dried when it still kind of had a tacky feel to it, but you can see more of the color shift in it than you can the other one. I'm hoping you guys can see this. And this one was the all the way and they are still considerably darker than what they are on gel. Oop, overlapped them. So keep that in mind if you're using only um, regular finger polish that the shift does not come out in them as good and they are kind of dark um, I will try, let's try one more thing let's try a let's get a, let's see um, I'm trying to find it's like a soft purple this cream color. Let's try this cream color and see what the colors come out to look like on a regular polish. Okay, you just... And again, this is just a cheap um, nail polish. And we're going to try putting it on here right before it dries. To see what it looks like if you put it on a lighter coat of nail polish to see if it'll actually bring out some of its color shift or what. Okay, let's let that dry. And we'll see how that works. And while we're waiting on that, we'll see if there's any difference in these. Let's see. This is the one that we put it on right before it dried all the way. 
Do you guys see any difference? This one looks a little lighter and like it's got a little more color shift to it. And both of these are the same as this. So, as my nails. So, I mean, see the difference? And these were done on gel. So, you can see the difference in gel, the difference between gel. And this is the one that turned out way dark. It looks black almost. And then this is the other one. It's just not um, acting right on. And this is the green end one. This is the end one right here. This one. This one is... I want to say... Probably... I'm not real sure. This one I'd say is the gray one, which is going to be this one. It's got the gray in it. No. Nope. Um. This one has the gray in it, so this one is probably this one. Because it kind of looks gray and black. And then, I know this one went to this one. So I'm going to say this one went to this one because it's kind of a grayish black. And then we know this one went to this one so that leaves that one to that one. And that is what they look like on regular nail polish. The black regular nail polish. Um, I still say that you don't get the color shift um, that you would get off of a gel polish. And like I said, we were going to try it whether it was a success or a fail. And, um, yeah. Okay, we're a little tacky. So we're going to go ahead and try. Should we try the same, same one? Or should we try a different Let's try a different one. Let's try the green one here. And see if we get a different result from that to this. Sorry, didn't mean to be out of frame. Oop. Not quite dry enough on the side there. So we pulled off some of the polish, which you can see that. Which is going to be a challenge when you are doing this on a tacky regular nail polish versus a tacky um, dry tacky gel polish. Um, that's going to be the difference is trying not to pull off the polish but I think this is too light you're not going to see but like a green hue yeah this is too light you're not going to see but just a barely a green hue almost to a yellow so this background right here is too light and it turned it kind of a yellow so yeah, um, I would not suggest using these with regular nail polish unless you like this look. Um, like I said, you still get some of the color shift. And it does look kind of dark. So, I mean, it is all on how you like to do your nails and stuff. Here's the other one. Um, yeah, I'm sorry this video is so long, but... Like always, I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.